morning. Today we are going to see some important derivation, Einstein relation. Okay. In last class we have seen absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. We are going to combine all these. That means we are, we are going to find out relation between all these three. Okay. Here this is the ground state and ground state energy level is E1 and the excited state energy level is E2 and number of atoms N1 and number of atoms N2 already we have seen. In equilibrium both these are equal. Okay. That means rate of absorption is equal to rate of emission. Rate of absorption is equal to rate of emission. And the rate of emission, how many emissions we have seen? Two emissions. Rate of emission due to spontaneous emission and due to stimulated emission. And now let us see, the, again I am writing the equation. Okay. Which equation? Rate of absorption which is equal to B12, okay, Einstein coefficient, rho and N1. This is absorption and spontaneous emission, rate of spontaneous emission, which is equal to A21 N2 and stimulated emission, okay, B21, both are from second state to first state. This is from first state to second state. N1 rho this one. Both are emission and this is absorption. Okay. In equilibrium absorption is equal to emission. Therefore, we can equate these two. That means B12 rho N1 is equal to B21 rho here this is N2 no? N2 this is N2 okay N2 rho plus A21 N2 both are absorption okay A21 A21 N2 both are emission this is absorption after this mere <coughs> mathematical uh, simplification only okay now you bring this because here nu is there, here nu is there. You bring this side to left hand side and common take nu which is equal to B12 N1 minus B21 N2 which is equal to A21 N2. Okay. Now this row we want therefore row equals a21 n2 divided by this one b12 n1 okay now after this we are going to simplify okay here only mathematics only we have to assume this after this mere mathematics only now this one I will write in different form and erase up to this. Equal to A21 divided by N2 or I will write this one first. Okay. A21 N2 divided by B12 N1 minus B21 N2 okay now divide I have written the same thing okay divide both numerator and denominator by B12 N2 okay divide both numerator and denominator by this one equal to A21 divided by B12. N2, N2, cancel. I am dividing this by this. Divided by, here B1 to B1 to cancel. Therefore, N1 by N2. Okay. Minus B21 divided by B12. Okay. I am dividing 
this entire equation numerator denominator by this one. Now, n1, n2 is there. Already in the first lecture, we have seen n2 by n1 equal to e power minus e2 minus e1 by kt. Okay. And this e2 minus e1 can be written as e. Therefore, e power minus e by kt. And e equal to h nu. Therefore, e power minus h nu by kt. This is n2 by n1. But we have n1 by n2. Therefore, n1 by n2 equal to e power h nu by kt. h nu by kt. Now you substitute this in this equation. Therefore, rho nu equal to, I can write uh, in a different form first. Okay. That means a21 by b12. Okay. Then 1 by n1 by n2 minus b21 by b12. Okay. I have written this here and I have put this on 1 by simply. Okay. Now I have to substitute this n1 by n2 value. If you substitute rho equals a21 divided by b12 1 by e power h nu by kt okay minus b21 by b12 okay i substitute for this one and this is a emission and absorption these are all taking place in the electromagnetic spectrum only therefore we can apply black body radiation equation here Okay, black body radiation equation is given by rho nu equals 8 pi h nu cube mu cube, okay, pi c cube, okay, and 1 by e power h nu by kt minus 1. This is black body radiation equation. Planck's equation particularly. Okay. Now you can compare this equation and this equation. You can compare. If you compare, this is equal to this. And e power h nu kt is there. e power h nu kt is there. Therefore, you write this and this. You compare. Okay. Left hand side is same. Right hand side, you compare. Therefore, a21 divided by b12 equals 8 pi h mu cube mu cube by c cube okay and <coughs> here e h nu by kt is there therefore the same and here one is there here b21 therefore b21 by b12 equal to 1 okay now we have compared these two okay i'll erase this It is a video, therefore you can rewind and you can check if you have a doubt. Okay. Because in this small board we can do like this only. Okay. Now I will combine these two. Okay. Here B21 and B12. Therefore B12 equal to B21. Okay. And here B12 is there. Here B12 is there. Therefore I can substitute also. I can substitute also. Now, what is the meaning of this? That here, this is ancient coefficient for absorption. Okay. Because level 1 to level 2. And this is spontaneous emission from level 2 to 1. That means probability of absorption is equal to probability of stimulated transition. Stimulated emission. That is you have to understand. Now, if you substitute this also, or you simply cross multiply, okay, B12 equals A21 divided by 8 pi h nu cube, nu cube, 
Okay. Here, secure. Okay. Now these two are related. Okay. Now if you want another relation. Okay. Which one? A two one divided by B one two. Okay. That means this is emission. Okay. Spontaneous emission. This is stimulated emission. Okay. Now if you put this. This will go in numerator. Or okay, I'll write this eight by h nu cube mu cube by c cube. And these are all constant. I'll tell what is this. H is the Planck's constant. Nu is the frequency. This is the uh, refractive index for the particular medium. And c is the velocity of light. Therefore, these are all constant. Therefore, this relation. A two one by B one two is proportional to nu cube. Okay, this is proportional to nu cube. Okay, that means <coughs> what is the conclusion you are having? That means laser cannot be operated, or it is very difficult in high frequency range. Just like in X ray range, we cannot use. Laser. We cannot produce laser beam in X-ray range. That is the conclusion of this. But in your <coughs> examination, they are asking this derivation and this derivation. This may be asked in objective questions. Okay. That means why laser cannot be operated in high frequency range? That means this ratio. Okay. With what is this ratio? This is spontaneous. Transition emission. This is B one two, na? Okay. This is we can put B one two or B two one, one two or two or two one also. Okay. Now this is the emission. Okay. Which is proportional to nu cube, cube of the frequency. Therefore, it is difficult to operate or to produce laser beam in a higher order range, X-ray like this. Okay. This is a simple derivation. Okay. But it is very important derivation in examination point of view. Thank you. Please subscribe and put a comment.